Hey boys and girls, you know the other day when I made my belt sander and disc sander for my radial arm saw, I found myself, I, I made these shafts that, that the belts turn on, and I realized I needed to be dead center when I drilled the holes in the ends of the shafts because if I wasn't, this thing's turning at 7,000 RPMs, it would vibrate just all over the place. So I came up with a cool little fixture for doing that, and I thought, you know what, this is something that does come up from time to time, drilling a, a true hole, dead center, and a round piece of stock. So here's how I did it. So you say you want to drill a hole dead center on this little dowel, and it needs to also be drilled perfectly straight inside of the dowel. I am sure there's a better way to do this, Trust me, no one ever taught me these things. I just kind of figure them out as I go, which is the fun to me of woodworking. But I'm going to show you a trick that I figured out how to do that. It requires a chunk of wood like this 2x4 scrap. And this one actually is kind of good because it's obvious how it's oriented. So if I move it, I can put it back and it'll be oriented the same way. And that's important. I'll show you why in a second. First thing I'm going to do is drill a hole with the Forstner bit into my piece of scrap 2x4. Now I want the hole to go almost all the way through so that the very point of the Forstner bit actually punctures the end so you can see through it. We'll see what that's going to do here. If you look in the hole you can actually see the light coming through so we got barely through. I put my dowel in all the way to the bottom and find that little hole and I'm going to take another Forstner bit Go into that little hole, and that's going to be like the center punch that's going to locate the center of my dowel. Got my little center pole cut. Now I do is I put, I put the dowel in, flip it over, and put it back into the 2x4 in the hole. Now if my logic works, the fact that this hole was drilled in this piece of wood at exactly this uh, orientation then logically that tells me that whether this board is square or not doesn't matter the fact is that this hole that's in the board is exactly square with the drill bit so I've got a quarter inch Forstner bit in there now so let's go ahead and drill our hole and see if we come up pretty centered and pretty straight. But there you have it. Came up pretty dang square and yeah, that's that's as true as you're going to get it drilled down in there. So that's a trick that, you know, hopefully something you can use at some point in time.